In this video, we're going to talk about Nano Dimension. If you're considering buying Nano Dimension shares in your portfolio, then please keep watching this video until the end, because it covers many of the factors that should be considered regarding buying, holding, or selling the shares. During the most recent trading session, the stock opened at $9.01 and closed at $8.52. The lowest point at which it fell to was $8.42 and the highest point it rose to was $9.06. Compared to the current price action, its 52-week low was $1.31 and the 52-week high was $17.89. The current trading volume of Nano Dimension is 12.3 million shares, compared to the average volume of 17.1 million shares. The recent volume of Nano Dimension is slightly lower than its average volume, but overall, the stock has maintained itself on the track to recovery. So far, the trend seems to have reversed, and there's nothing suggesting that it'll go back to sell-offs. Let's take a look at the difference between the company's market cap and enterprise value. Basically, the market cap is the sum of the price of all shares publicly traded, and the enterprise value is the value of the company's assets once the debts are paid off. We can see that the market cap of the company is $2.2 billion, and the enterprise value is $241 million. The huge difference between enterprise value and the market cap can be explained in part with the shareholder composition we just talked about. Ultimately, the market is a game of supply and demand. Ever since ARK invested in the Nano Dimension, a large amount of retail investors swarmed in and bought the shares as well. This caused the stock price to surge. If there were not that much interest around it, the stock would have probably increased less quickly, leaving more time for those of us who want to buy on the dip to get in. At its current price level, it simply means that the stock is believed to have a high growth potential in the years to come. Now, let's talk about the number of shares the company currently has. Shareholder composition as of the latest date. The total number of shares outstanding is 256.5 million shares. Amongst the total float, insiders hold 0.01% of them. We should also look at the percentage of shares owned by institutional investors. In that case, institutional shares hold 19.3% of the total amounts outstanding. There are 27.7 million shares that are being shorted which represents 10.8% of the shares traded. The composition of Nano Dimensions equity is mostly retail. Generally speaking, this means that the company is considered to be a speculative stock. But in the particular case of Nano Dimension, I feel like this is simply a result of the 2020 stock craze and the amount of people following ARK Invest. Overall, this means that the company's equity may be under greater volatility than stocks with higher institutional participation. It doesn't mean that a stock doesn't have actual value. It does. But that the present value may be a bit detached from the real fundamentals at the moment. The short-term price tendencies in Nano Dimension is very encouraging. It has touched bottom about a month ago and now is on its way to higher levels once again. I believe that it's not simply due to the company's own fundamentals, but the changing market sentiment since the massive sell-offs we saw earlier this year. In the long term, Nano Dimension has to demonstrate that consumers really need its products, now that it showcased the interest from investors. With that being said, for those of us who want to buy in the stock's equity at the moment, it's necessary to take a step back and be willing to tolerate a relatively high amount of risk. Due to the current market trends, my suggestion is to either have a small position in nano dimension or to keep increasing the exposure. The last element is to consider the last element to consider would be the overall market sentiment in the financial market. The current reality is that investors and money managers are no longer willing to blindly follow companies like much of 2020. 
There are reasons why investors are now shying away from many innovative and disruptive stocks. Some will say that they were overpriced, that they were overbought, or that they were relying on selling dreams instead of having solid financials. But the real answer is probably a much simpler one. At one point, people began to sell their shares for profits. That created a significant crash in a company price. Not really because the company itself is bad, but that they just had more sellers than buyers at one point. This triggered a torrent of sell-offs from February of this year onward. The overall tendency at the moment is that those stocks are now bottoming out and investors are, generally speaking, more skeptical. And only the companies with good and robust financials or disruptive ideas may survive. I think that Nano Dimension belongs to the latter. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.